coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next Java made easy tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning about classes. So we've seen classes before but we like we have here but we haven't learned about them and classes are uh, the fundam or basically the foundation of object oriented programming. And you may be asking, okay, if it is the very foundation of object-oriented programming, why didn't we learn about it before? Well, classes are comprised of everything that we've learned up until this point. And so it makes it easier to teach about classes once you know everything, uh, all the other minor things that we need to learn uh, before actually creating classes. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, uh, Let's let's talk about let's talk about classes right now. So, you know how we have integers and uh, floats and all that stuff. Those are default data types that are built into Java. Now, what if I told you you could create your own custom data type and be able to make it do whatever you want it to do? And we can actually do that with. Java creating classes and by creating classes we can utilize something called object oriented programming. Now what is object oriented programming? Well object oriented programming is comprised of three main principles. That is encapsulation, inheritance and polymorphism and we, we will be touching on all three of those th those things. They sound confusing but they are relatively easy once you get a grasp on them. So we're not going to be touching on any three of those today. We're just going to be focusing on actually just creating our own custom class and just sort of seeing how classes are actually utilized. So in order to create our class, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our package and we're going to say new class and we're going to set the name uh, to players. So we're going to make be making a player class and within our class we can do everything we've done um, in our previous class we can make variables we can make methods we can do a bunch of different stuff with it and so what we're going to do is we're just going to be creating a, a variable called health and we're just going to set it to the value 100 and that's all we're going to do and what we're going to do is just like i said before with the ints and the floats just by doing that just by saying public class player we've just created our new player class we've just created our own sorry our own data type quote unquote so how do we actually utilize it so it's the same as creating a variable so a variable we put the type put the variable name and then we set it equal to a value it's the same way whenever we create objects we say okay the name of it and then we're just player because that's what our class name is we put our variable name, so we'll just put player as a variable name, and we set it equal to a value. This value is we're gonna put new, and we're gonna put the class's name, and we're gonna put empty parentheses, and we're gonna learn about what uh, what this actually means in a future tutorial. But voila, we just created a player instance. Now let's say we want to access this uh, this health value. We want to display health. All we have to do is say system print line and we say player and we use the dot modifier at the dot operator sorry I say modifier sorry the dot operator and the dot operator allows us to access things within our class so we say dot and we want to access health and that will get the value for health now let's say we want to modify the value for health we say player dot health minus equals 10 and we're going to print it out again so we're going to say player.health again. And so it should say 100, then to, and then it's going to display the value 90. To show you I'm not lying, we run this, and it says 190. So now we've stored the value health in our own custom quote-unquote data type called player. And it's, it's, it's cool having our own custom data type. Let's say, for example, we wanted to make a, a method inside our main again. So we're going to have to make the static again. And let's say that we want to um, subtract one player's health from another player's health for whatever reason. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna say, um, or you know what? Let's create a new variable called damage, and we're just gonna set damage the font the the value to ten. So we're gonna create another 
uh, player and we're gonna call it player two and set the player and it's it's gonna have the same default values health is equal to 100 damage is equal to 10 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say static uh, void and we're gonna say attack we're gonna pass in a player one and we're gonna pass in a player and we're gonna call it player two so we can pass in our own custom dot we can pass in our own custom objects as parameters in methods so just like we can pass in integers and floats and booleans and all those other data types we can pass in our own data type. so what we're gonna do in this a attack method right now is we're just gonna say uh, p1 dot health minus equals p2 uh, dot damage so the damage that we take and so I'm just gonna get rid of this right here and we're going to call attack passing the player and passing the player too and just like that we can pass in our data types variable types and then we can do stuff with it but this is what I want to uh, show to you right now remember when we were learning about uh, methods we said that everything in methods is passed by value uh, rather than actually passing by reference that you might have learned in other languages. Well, let's run this. And so if it's passed by value, when it reaches here, it should just exit. But what we're going to do is after we're done this, we're going to print out our health. And we're going to say player.health since that's the one that we're modifying. And so let's run this. And as you can see, the value is 90. So we changed the value within here, but it modified the actual value. So what's going on? I thought it, everything was passed by value. So shouldn't player be passed by value? Well, it is technically being passed by value, but um, I'll explain to you why you can modify, say, health inside, inside a method and stuff like that rather than just a generic variable name. In, um, in an actual method parameter so I don't want to I didn't want to really confuse you but I just kind of wanted to open your eyes to that fact so as soon as we created a, a class and we have a variable within that class all of a sudden we can modify that variable within this method and everything remains the same but if we just have a generic variable that's not the case and so just for something for you guys to actually think about and we will address that in the future after we're done learning all about classes but i just thought it was an interesting fact to show you guys that but anyways that's it for this tutorial that's a quick introduction to classes so let's just do a quick review so to create a class we just say um we're gonna say public class whatever the name of the class is we have our data types in there and then in order to create an instance of it, we say the class name, whatever variable name you want to give it, say it's equal to new, whatever the class name is, and the empty parentheses. And to access different things in the class, we say whatever the variable name is and use the dot operator to access the variables or methods within that class. So anyways, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Also, sign on my website. That's it, and bye for now.